Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now it's been quite a while since you've seen my face but I figured it's time for me to finally make another video. I've been extremely busy with things behind the scenes so that's why Josh has mainly been running the social media side on his own. But today I wanted to make this video to talk about a subject that comes up quite a few times. Quite a lot of you guys ask about this so I thought I'd discuss it today. One problem a lot of us young footballers face is money for travelling, you know, getting to trials, getting to matches when we need to, and uh, mainly food. That was one of my bigger issues uh, when pursuing football at a younger age. Wanting to buy and cook for myself when I was, you know, around 15, 16, just so I could, you know, be on top of what I was putting in my body so I could perform at the best possible level. So yeah, that wraps up the summary. We're just going to go through some simple ways that you guys can make some extra cash at, you know, mainly the teenage years. I'll probably recommend these tasks and jobs for probably to the age of 13 to 20. And then maybe in another video, I'll talk about how to adapt and develop these sort of jobs into a higher paying income so you can have more freedom and, you know, you have the freedom to fully pursue football, if you will. So the first one we've got here is in the football niche. That is one-on-one -on -one coaching. Now, I know coaching isn't for everyone. And you may think that you need qualifications, you need this, you need to work here, you need to work that. But you can start off in a very basic manner. As you're starting off, you probably charge not high prices. So we're speaking in pounds, obviously, because I'm from the UK. So you probably could start with £10 an hour. And that could go all the way up to £20 an hour once you develop it. But at the start, we'll stick with £10. So if you do one session a day, that's £300 on a 30-day month. Again, that's £20 you do a session a day that's double that obviously 600 pound a month which will give you the freedom to buy as much food as you want and you can save some money in case you need to travel for a trial or something like this the requirements for something like this is basic equipment and access to a football pitch of course and here's a list of things that may help some coaching badges the basic ones i think the fa level one is around 120 130 pound in uk i could be mistaken there but i'm pretty sure that's what it is it's just a pretty simple course. Anyone can go for it. You just register online and that's a pretty decent investment. Professional equipment. So obviously you're going to need basic cones and whatnot and footballs. But if you want to up it and get uh, discs, poles and ladders and whatnot, then you can do as well. That's a good investment, not only for one-on-one -on -one coaching, but your own individual training sessions as well. And on top of this experience, obviously experience will do. But if you've got no experience, you should have to start somewhere. So... At the start, you might have some shaky sessions, if you will, but again, it all comes with time and experience and you'll just get better as you know your clients. So to start this, you literally all you do is just advertise that you're doing one-on-one -on -one coaching, then book through the phone, pay cash, pretty simple stuff. And that is the first way to make extra money as a teenager. Number two now, I know this is a very typical thing for these types of making extra money as teenager videos on YouTube, but... It's very typical and it's very common because it's just a pretty decent way to make some extra cash. And that is neighborly jobs. For example, cutting grass and then you could do some like cleaning jobs, whether that's the house, cars or their patio. Um, a lot of neighbors don't have the time or just simply are too lazy to do this and they'd rather pay someone else to do it. And they may trust you as they know you more because obviously they see you more as you're their neighbor. Um, even something like running errands going to the shop for them and they pay you a small bit of that again you can start off charging five to ten pound an hour these aren't really high demand or highly paid tasks but you know they need to be done so i'm sure one of your neighbors is willing to pay you for this stuff again i just to keep it simple i just said if you do one of these tasks a day for ten pounds an hour that's again 300 pound a month on a 30 day month the requirements for this are none but things that may help are a more lower some cleaning equipment and a power hose now or a pressure washer whatever you want to call it these things again are investments you if you do these tasks frequently you will make that money back pretty f quickly so yeah that is number two next on the list is flipping items this again is another typical traditional list on these types of videos but again it's just because it's easy and accessible for every single person to do this is what me and josh actually used to do when i originally made the my first move to from england to serbia uh, I was around 14. This wasn't for the purpose of pursuing football, just that I've always liked having money. 
and making money for that matter. Um, what we do, we would bring stuff from England, which are high in demand and less commonly found in Serbia. For example, we sold a lot of watches, so we'd flip them. I did that for majority f of my school life here. Made some decent extra cash, if you will, just some pocket money. Uh, but again, to do the maths, I did pretty basic stuff. I said if you... I went for an estimate of a 20% profit that you'd make from each item. So for a £20 item that you bought for £20, 20% uh, profit of that is £4, obviously. So that would make... So you sell that for £24 and your total profit from that one item would be £4. If you sell one item a month, that's £120. Doesn't sound like a lot, but that will fund all your eating needs. Requirements for this is internet and a phone or laptop. Um, again, like I said, that does sound like not a lot of money, but you can develop this and sell more expensive items as well as more items than just one a day. Next on the list is an e-commerce store. So this could be drop shipping, selling your own product, selling your own service or anything like this. The thing with this is that the potential is unlimited. You could make a lot of money, you can make no money. It is quite a hard market to get into because it's so competitive now because literally every fifth teenager has probably done something of the sort. But a realistic goal to set yourself for this would be probably to make £500 profit a month. But again, that would take some time to get to that point. Requirements, again, like the similar one, is just an internet, a laptop or phone. And things that may help is knowledge of marketing, social media marketing, advertisement, product knowledge and product research and graphic design you don't need to know all these things you can outsource this but just to keep the prices low at the start if you're self-taught then all the all your outings are much more lower because you're doing everything yourself okay finally number five now this is probably the easiest out of all five and the ones the one i would also recommend you can do obviously all five of these things you don't need to pick one you can try and dip your feet into all five things and see what works and if they work you stick with it and maybe you can develop onto it if they don't work then you can drop it but the fifth one is getting a job what i would recommend is retail and fast food for the sole purpose that a lot of the bigger companies especially in the uk have flexible hours so they are willing to give you shifts around your time schedule so basically you would never have to miss a training session or match because of these jobs because you can say in your interview or whatever what hours you specifically want to work and even then if something comes up you majority of the time you can work around it to change your shift for the uk i just put there eight pounds an hour i know it varies i know some retailers pay more pay less same with fast food but i just put to be safe an eight pound an hour again i know as well if you're under 18 then it may be a lot more different it could be half that but just to do basic maths i just put eight pounds an hour and if you do 15 hours per week which in the grand scheme of things is not a lot of hours at all that's probably two maybe three shifts um that would up, add up to 480 pound a month and earning that much you don't pay any tax so that's 480 pound in your bank account every month the requirements for this are none you just literally apply for as much jobs as you can and cross your fingers basically so those are the five ways you can make some extra money to fund your pursuit of a football career if you enjoyed this video and you enjoy finance in general, please let us know and we can make more videos in the niche. If you do have any other questions, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.